Lex, thank you. You just heard a mention a moment ago. Tulsa police made that arrest in the mall shooting in less than 48 hours. Chief Wendell Franklin says that kind of aggressive police work is one reason why he believes homicide numbers have dropped in 2023. Another is proactive measures the department has rolled out. So far, TPD has investigated 47 homicides this year compared to 68 in 2022 and as many as 81 back in 2020. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter talked with Chief Franklin about what the department is doing to help prevent murders. Reagan. Tatum and Jonathan, Tulsa's homicide unit is known for having a near perfect solve rate and this year it solved 95% of the murders. The focus now is trying to prevent murders and part of that is going after violent repeat offenders. Chief Wendell Franklin says a big focus this year was going after guns in the hands of people who aren't allowed to have them. We are focused on how can we prevent homicides? How can we influence the number and reduce that number of homicide? And we do that through proactive work. We do it through uh, using our crime gun unit. The crime gun unit goes after violent people or people using firearms to commit crimes. They investigate shooters who do drive-by shootings or other shootings where no one is hit. The crime gun unit also goes after juveniles running around Tulsa with guns. People talk about nonviolent, nonviolent offenses. Those are technically nonviolent offenses, but for us, we're going to go after them because we know that it's going to make an impact. It's going to make a difference down the road on who may or may not be shot in the future. Franklin says hammering down on other crime helps too. He says auto thefts are down 50% this year because that unit has been aggressive going after repeat offenders. The stolen vehicles collate into uh, drive-by shootings and other criminal activity that take place in our city. So we know that if we can attack those stolen vehicles, then we might make a difference in some of the other crime that takes place in Tulsa. Franklin says officers and detectives do great work solving crimes, but help from the community is key, especially being able to solve 95% of murders. You look at some of the other cities, you look at Chicago and look at their solve rate. Why can't they do that? Why can't they replicate that? It's because they don't have that relationship with the community like we do. In Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma's own News on 6.